let's discover how to fully automate and sort your furnaces in three steps. In total, you'll need these resources to craft and research each electronic, furnace and workbench shown in the video. This construction should take you around three minutes to fully set up. Hey guys, Jafar here and let's get started. Think about building three stages. First, we need a location we can dump all of our raw resources. Then we want these resources to be automatically pulled into the furnaces for cooking or fuel. Later, I'll show you how to replace these furnaces with electric ones so you won't need wood anymore. Finally, we want these resources to be automatically sorted into separate crates. If you get stuck, check out my ultimate industrial guide which covers each component with examples. First, place down your dump chest. This is where we'll dump all of our raw resources like wood and ores. Attach a storage adapter which will serve as our output node. Then place down the industrial conveyor and set the filter to only take out wood, sulfur, metal and high quality metal ore. Now connect the output node from the storage adapter to the conveyor's input. The conveyor's job is to suck the items out from the chest into whatever it's connected to. Next up is stage two, the furnaces. Place down as many furnaces as you would like. In our case, we have five. Attach storage adapters on top and link the conveyor's output into the first furnace's input node. You can then chain each furnace's input and output nodes together. The resources will be spread out across all furnaces until there's no more room. Now's a good time to connect our conveyor to power so we can start seeing items move. Place down a small battery and connect it to whatever generator you prefer. I recommend solar as it's cheap. Connect the battery's output to the conveyor's input. With the conveyor connected, turn it on and we should start seeing our dump crate's loot being moved to fill each furnace. Because we're extra lazy, we want these items sorted for us. Place down large or small chests for each resource. In our case, one for regular and high quality metal, one for sulfur and one for charcoal. Attach a storage adapter to each crate. Now we have a single output node on our final furnace, but we want to split it between three crates. Place down an industrial splitter and connect the furnace's output to its input. Now we have access to three output nodes. In front of each output crate, place down an industrial conveyor. Apply a filter to each conveyor corresponding to the resources you want sucked out of the furnace and put into each chest. Link our splitter's output nodes to each conveyor's input node and connect the conveyor's output node to each crate. Finally, use the first conveyor's pass-through node to provide power to the sorting conveyors. Turn them on and watch our resources flow from the dump chest into the furnaces for cooking and finally out into the corresponding sorted crates. If you're tired of farming wood, we can replace our traditional furnaces with electric ones. This will require a level two workbench and 395 scrap to unlock within the tech tree. When comparing an electric furnace against a regular one, you'll see it speeds up our cooking by 40%. But there's a catch. We won't be producing charcoal anymore. Instead, we can set up an oil refinery which converts wood into charcoal faster than any other method, taking just 1.5 seconds for a 75% chance of getting one charcoal from one wood. Shout out to Just Boris for this great suggestion. Now let's get our hands dirty. Pick up our storage adapters and furnaces. Place down the new electric furnaces and reconnect the storage adapters. Rewire the dump chest conveyor to the electric furnaces and link each furnace together. Connect the final electric furnace to the splitter to reconnect the network. Next, we power up each of the furnaces. Here's a map of everything we'll need to upgrade to five electric furnaces. Let's break it down. We'll need to use either a medium battery or two small batteries since a single small battery can only output a max of 15 power. And considering each furnace requires three power, and each other component consumes one power, it wouldn't be enough for all of our furnaces. We'll also need to include a root combiner to combine our two batteries power into a single wire. Then we can feed that into an electric branch where we'll branch off four power for the industrial conveyors and the rest of the power will go to our furnaces. 
We'll also include a switch to make it convenient to turn on and off all the furnaces. Finally, four electric branches are required since the furnace doesn't feature a pass-through node. Branch off three power and connect the main line to the other electric branch. In this example, I'll use an extra solar panel, the existing battery, plus a new small battery to power our furnaces. Turn them on and watch your oars smelt away. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.